Hello everyone, this is the Good Captain. Welcome to another Let's Play campaign series, Rising Sun. And, excuse me, uh, I've, I had a small error with uh, my recording software here. Uh, apparently putting your computer on sleep for many, many hours and then coming back to to it and telling it to record again uh, causes can cause an error because uh, this first uh, it's still turn three but I did move some of these pieces around and then when I was taking a pause uh, I, this this box here was black and when I clicked where the stop should be it told me that an error had occurred in the recording and so there was no playback uh, feature or anything available for me, so my apologies, but I will let you know what has uh, recently transpired here. Uh, so first off, um, I had my ATR platoon here uh, draw fire uh, from this Philippine Army uh, rifle platoon, and then I had uh, this leader join this rifle platoon out in the rice paddy and try to suppress suppress him, cause some damage, uh, and, and that failed. So I had the this rifle platoon uh, move back behind him here, and at this point I decided not to move either of these two units just to await you know what would happen in the middle, and boy did a lot of stuff happen in the middle here. So you'll remember that we had a big stack of units here, so we started with the anti-tank rifle first, moving him to the hex just south of the bridge to bait the shot from this Philippine Army rifle platoon, and he did not shoot. I then moved him here, he still did not shoot. I moved a rifle squad into this hex, uh, it, this, he still did not shoot. And then finally I moved my machine gun team in, um, and I was going to then move my leader in to use the machine gun team and the leader to do some damage. Uh, but he, he did finally shoot, and he, even though I'm at a 3 hex range and in a swamp, he managed to reduce it and disrupt it. So, while I was chewing on what to do next, uh, well, uh, I was narrating it, but I decided to commit um, two more rifle platoons. I can't remember how I moved these. And then I had one of them shoot, just trying to bait this guy to shoot again. And finally, he did. And when, when that was done, I moved my machine gun teams in. And under leader direction, uh, both of them shot that, that machine light machine gun that was here and eliminated it. So... That's now brought us all completely up to speed in, in, in terms of where I moved my pieces. Now, I still want to do the little intro because uh, that didn't get recorded either. So before I moved all these pieces, I was saying I had reviewed the previous video and I was talking so I didn't realize it then, but I could hear tanks. So there's there's definitely a tank unit back there, and if you go back to my previous video, you could hear it at the end of the video in the enemy player's turn. So that, and then also, you know, there's a minefield here, so, and another fortified position here. This I didn't review at the end of that video, so we are not going to be able to cross here. I mean, technically we can cross, but then we're sending our own guys into the minefields, and obviously we're not going to do that. So. At any rate, uh, I'm a little distrustful of this now, but uh, in fact, uh, I'm going to take a little pause and just make sure the equipment's still working. Okay, uh, it appears it appears to be working. Okay, so we're going to continue. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, this uh, we cle just cleaned out this machine gun team. And uh, 
That's good because we we're definitely gonna be in a bind. I, I, I'm really, I'm shocked that I took a, a hit here, and I'm also shocked that that got eliminated. But all right, um, next uh, we need to cross this stream and. This hex here is the safest, so we'll, um, if there's anybody in here, we'll draw the fire. Or not. Boy, they've been, they've been doing a good job holding their fire, or maybe no one's in there. So now I've got to decide... I think I'm going to risk just sending this leader in along with the ATR. Huh. Maybe there's, is there no one there? Got two. I don't want to put more than one rifle platoon in here, though. Because then it's, well... Mm. Okay, rifle platoon, and then machine gun. Okay, there is somebody. That time. That time he did it. Okay. Yeah, we'll put the machine gun in here and then shoot this guy. Okay. So, uh, the next phase is to move this guy here and shoot and move this guy here and shoot now yeah, I didn't expect it to work but uh, yeah as I I also said in my intro I, I'm expecting to lose some SPs some strength points on the next, uh, this turn and next turn especially, yes. Uh, throughout the rest of the scenario, I think we'll get it under control, but as I've said many times, this is kind of a mess, uh, so we're going to do our best, but again, I'm expecting SP losses. Okay, um, so that's pretty much all we can do f down here. That's a really low... Yeah, why not? Okay, all right. Now, we know there is a position here, so this will be a two hex range. And there's no way to, three, two, one. Ah, we can bait a shot. Three, two, one, yes. Okay, so we will send the anti-tank rifle platoon right into this hex here. Actually, maybe we can use this one. Yeah, since they'll be coming back, this is a good job for you. One. Eh. Okay, let's send a second one in. Good. Good. So he's shot twice, and he's shot his second one. So these two are used up. Three, two, one. Okay, I'll send the four strength platoon across. The five strength platoon is stronger, so we want to keep the strong as strong as they can. I'll keep, I'll let the weak take the risk here. Okay, uh, just three, oh, can we even see? Three, two, one, three. No, uh, this one might be empty. What, they didn't shoot? No one shot out of there? Three hex range? Okay, I'm suspicious of this. This one might be empty. Doesn't help us any, but anyway. Okay. So now we will shoot this guy. Okay, now we'll move the leader in. And then the 
machine gun. And so now this machine gun should have leader benefits. Yes. Dang. I was really hoping that might do something. Okay. Uh... I don't think I would do what I'm about to do. Well, let's come back to these two. I have a pretty highly risky plan for these guys, moving them in the open here. If this is empty, 3D1, 3D1, it, keeps it, it gets us moving faster, and it's, it's time to get going. This is uh, taking a long time to do. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Three, two, one. Uh, let's move the machine gun and the leader in and select a target. It's just this guy. Six. Yeah, we can't see him, so we'll shoot this. No effect. Okay, now how much do we want to risk? Hmm. Not the headquarters platoon. If anyone's gonna do it, we're gonna it's gonna be you. We do need to clear this space so we can get this platoon in position to come across, so yeah, there's another reason to to take some risk. Yeah, we'll move here. And so will you. Yeah, I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive now this hex is empty. Okay, uh, so we will... Yeah, this is a safe hex. So we're going to stack heavy in this hex here. Ah, yeah, the machine gun team. Um, hmm. Artillery may fall on us, but I want to crack off a good shot. So we're going to commit Major Muto and the machine gun team to make a nice 8 firepower attack. No luck. Dang. Okay, <clears throat> now you guys. Now these are my troops. So we want to take care. And I don't think I want to send them into the meat grinder. I think they'll s delay one more, one more turn and let these troops that have sort of already breached try to open up a safe, safe area um, up in the north here and in the south. But when we do move next turn, we'll. We're not gonna. We're gonna have to move two spaces, or else we'll get knocked by Artie. So, ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So back to these units. Yeah, with that machine gun team, no longer there. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Hmm. Do we want to put ourselves in a position where we offer them a target? Kind of, I do. Yeah. So we'll move here. And our machine gun team. Two hex range, two hex range, two hex range. We'll all share in the 
the risk. Okay, so. Okay. The Hagos. Uh, this is. This is. Uh, just notice there's no disruptions. Maybe some hit and runs. I don't know how effective it's going to be against these guys in the fortification, though. How far can we move? Three hexes, so two out, one back. little pause and I'll be right back while I think uh, yo I'm back and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and move we're gonna move two spaces here Hit him. and f fall back into the palm trees yeah in who has insufficient action points Oh, we have the... Huh, okay. Okay, there's nine of us in here, so I don't think we're at risk of being assaulted. One, two, three. Busted machine gun. Yeah, so I'm just looking at the op fire. We'll leave it at max range. We're not going to mess with it right now. So if they do try to move against our tanks to assault them, uh, we at least have some, some suppression to offer the tank, uh, to defend our tanks with before they get to assault. So... <clears throat> Right. Uh, let's cycle through. Yeah, we decided to leave them in the headquarters or standing pad. Okay. Oh, reinforcements. Wagons, or this is the engineers, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. They're in different hexes, so it's okay. Are these my infantry guns? Yes, they are. Huh. Hmm. Nah, we don't want to put them there. Actually, I'm a little hesitant to move them at all. Too close. Uh, okay. This. Yeah, that's a road. That's we. Oh, I know. I have an idea. Let's pull him back. Oh, we still can't make it? You know what? There's not even any need to... Huh. Okay, let's just move this guy here. This guy here. This guy here. We want to get these guys unloaded and moved into a spot they could potentially do some damage from. Let's oops, unload. Yeah, here. Uh, how much does it cost you to move into a village? 44. How much does it cost to fire? 40. Yes, so we can move into the village next turn and shoot from there. So we'll do the same thing with you. Oh, we need to get some fire support going ASAP. 
one final time. Okay, pop fires. We don't worry about ATR. Those guys have shot. Okay, uh, I'm expecting to lose a couple, another SP probably this turn. All right, I'm gonna, again, I'm almost positive this is empty. It's, although the fire discipline has been uncanny, uh, um, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be empty. So the most threatening positions at this point see what those inf guns can hit. Yeah, both of them. All three positions. So we're going to hit the enemy that we can see. I feel like dropping two fire missions on this guy. Yeah, he needs to go down. You, I just, I don't feel like you need to get blasted as much as like this guy with all this, yeah, firepower. So yeah, one here. Let's go both here. Yeah, we just need to do some damage to the center of their line. Okay, no air power and we, no, yeah, we call down all the fire missions, so no smoke, obviously. Let's give the enemy its turn. Good. Excellent. There's a leader. Okay, good. Oof. Oh, I was worried. I thought we were gonna suffer an SP loss. There's that tank. Okay, what's the one artillery unit unavailable? Sure. Total of two units undisrupted. The machine gun, okay, and the anti tank rifle platoon at 23. Ah. Yes! Okay, we got one. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. So we see a machine gun here. Huh, from these guys. Wow, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two. Wow, okay, uh, good. I mean, it's good to know that he's there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm just going to commit this to memory that there's troops all along this length of line from the, flooded, from the flooded paddy to this swamp in front of this first position and then here, here. So we want to clear these hexes because Artie could drop on them and really ruin our day. So we don't want to remain here anywhere. But we're going to do the first things first. Uh, first, we want to draw some fire. Very good. Uh, and now... Hmm. We're going to go for broke, I think. There's just no way to do this easily. So, machine gun team. No. No. Okay, we're gonna get right up in their face. Nothing. Ugh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Boy, I really thought. All right, well, 
like I said, I think we're going to suffer some SP losses here in the next turn or so. Okay. Now we will use this anti-tank rifle platoon. One, two, three, two. Let's double time. And go one. Ah. There's an SP loss. <laughs> Okay. Um, boy, this is that's the second SP loss he's inflicted on us. Hmm. Um. A little pause while I see if I can cross and still be able to shoot. So I'm not. Don't remember, and it's not clear to me. Uh, this stream it says 65, but does 65 plus the open, which would be 99? Is that going to take 99 of my movement points? That doesn't seem right. Huh. You know, I have an idea. Let's let's come back to this because I don't want to test it by doing that. But here, we have to move this machine gun team across. Uh, theoretically, we might... Okay, let's see. We're going to... Okay, well, he needs to lay down some suppressing fire. Actually, before any of that, let's move... Let's move the infantry guns into the village. And hit somebody. I want to hit him. No effect. Come on. Okay. So this machine gun section will sh shoot this guy to try to bait a shot. Okay. And then hmm. Okay, uh, and now, yes, we will move across the river. So it costs 65, okay. Yeah, so we can still shoot when we cross. Come on, some luck. Oof. Hmm. Okay, uh, we'll move him across. Yeah, there's, I was afraid of that. Okay, uh, just <laughs> grasping at straws, I feel like. Uh, yeah? Nothing? move him here and back very good boy what a what a crummy situation
Uh, this guy's gonna move here. And attack. I'm tired of seeing that no effect, I'll tell ya. Hmm. Uh, this guy's gonna die. We will destroy. We will destroy him. But this machine gun team is... <laughs> oh, there's just nothing easy. Let's see if I double time. No, that didn't help. Okay. Can we use the anti-tank rifle? Nope. A little pause while I try to figure out how to make this disastrous situation better. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, there's no easy way around this, so uh, we're going to use the loner platoon. Uh, least mission essential. Mm, no, not him. This guy will move one space and hopefully bait some shots from this machine gun. No. Not good. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we'll move this machine gun team here. And this rifle, uh, this leader here. There we go. Oh, God. So this guy still has a, enough action points to shoot again, so we'll try to bait a shot. Oh! Oh! Okay, that'll work. Wow, and I was disrupted. This guy was disrupted. Again, not a major loss because it's not our unit, but still. It's, it's getting annoying. <laughs> okay. So, four, three, two, four, three. Uh, yeah, sorry if anybody heard that. was my wife bursting in. <laughs> so, okay, uh, moving on here. All right, um, yeah, we need to get somebody either here, here, or here. Uh, I think... One, two... Yeah, we're gonna move... Sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's gonna be you will go here. Okay, and then... Yeah, and then you will go here and here. Okay, and... The headquarters... A platoon will... Oh, that was going to really make me frustrated if that thing got disrupted or otherwise. Huh, I should have... I should have bled him out, uh, bled off his action points, but... Okay. <clears throat> Still, just a one firepower attack in the village, so not too bad. And we'll hit him. Goodbye. Okay, now, <clears throat> we have 32 action points left, <clears throat> takes 35 to get into a village, so we double time him now and go into the village. You have enough to actually get into the village, so that's what you'll do. So that's how we, uh, we've, we've at least breached this defensive barrier and done some damage to this machine gun, so. <clears throat> uh, next.
Uh, is he? No, he's not disrupted. And we will stand our ground and keep plowing at this guy. These aren't, these aren't weak attacks. We're just not scoring the hits we need. Go here. We'll go here. Let's see. <clears throat> we'll go here. And you all will go here. Okay, so... <clears throat> At least we're now across. Now, this guy seriously needs to get got. This is really starting to bother me. These are my own troops. I don't like leaving them there as already bait, but it's not even that good of an attack. We gotta do what we can. Nope. Wow. Okay. It's pretty simple. We'll push across these two rifle platoons. Here and here. Okay, uh, I'm thinking of sending the Hoggos to destroy this light machine gun team. And mm, I don't like this here though. Well, first things first, we need to we need to push across this river with our Three, one, two, th three. Okay. Uh, probably least risky, but also l l less effective is moving here. Let's try that. Ah, God, just break, retreat, do something, do anything. These guys should get medals when it's all over. Posthumously. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, you know, this guy has drawn a lot of firepower, and not, I didn't want to have to dump as much into him as I have. Uh so th th that's going to take a lot of pressure off of this guy. So, little pause. Uh, I've got to figure this out. Uh, yo, I'm back. Okay, okay, there's just no, I can't see any way of avoiding this. Uh, we've just got to cross and... Yeah, we've got to cross and shoot. Cross, shoot, and cross and shoot. Okay, let's. These things, the engineer platoons are worth four victory points per SP, so we really don't want to just... I was going to say we could lunge them forward, but... Uh, no. So they'll move...
enough there to remove the minefield. And he will hang back here in the safe hex to uh, avoid any artillery. And now we have to make some very... Okay, so... I think we're coming to the end here. Oh, come on, <laughs> jeez. I was just moving him in to uh, help out more for next turn, but uh, to get it closer to draw shots. But All right, I guess that's technically what they're for, so dang. Let's take a look at the losses. Two machine gun and two anti-tank. And now, yeah, I'm not too keen on any of this. Uh, seven morale, six morale, eight morale. Huh. Well, I really want to put uh, a tank platoon down here with this guy. Uh, yeah. Yep. So, on the following turn, this rifle platoon will likely shoot this tank, uh, and not this rifle platoon, at least that's what I'm hoping, and he won't assault because the infantry will protect the tank. Over here... I really want to wipe him out, but I'm going to let him go this turn. Over here we'll do a hit and run. So we'll cycle through. Ah, oh, ATR. Um, you will go. You'll go here. Insufficient action points, really? Palms, 37, off by 2, that's fine, we'll pay it. Double time. Okay. Let's continue. Ah, uh, yes. You'll go here. Okay. Um... Machine gun team will stay put. Yep. Okay. Uh, no air, uh, no air attacks to assign. Um, so, artillery. Boy, it just seems like there's no reason to put it here with all this firepower around him. This is looking a little iffy. I'll put one fire mission there. I'll put... Hmm. Yeah, we'll put... Let me check one thing. What is their 
attack value. 10. Yeah, they got a really pretty sweet attack value. So let's put 2 here. And let's put 1. Hmm. Let's put one back here. I think we're going to break the front. We're going to break them and we're going to start working the next line of defense. So with that, uh, we will give the enemy... Oh, I almost... Good thing I cycled again. Got one more rifle platoon to consider. This is the headquarters platoon, and his unit is over here. So we'll move. We'll move here. Oh, hmm. You know what? Just to keep him safe, we'll move this guy back by double timing it. Okay, all right. Okay, I think that's the best we can do. Mortars? Whoa. It's that's in the... Oh my gosh. That was an overstacked hex. I got lucky. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, the ATR platoons are getting ravaged. One of the ATRs is up in the machine gun section. Units clearing minefield. Okay. Oh yes. Oh, that was good. All right, every little bit helps. That will help. Um, okay, we'll do one more turn. This video will go a little bit long, but... I think we could do one more. Okay. Uh, let's start with this over here. We'll continue to try to nail this guy. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Um, these infantry guns will move, uh, will shoot. and then move. Wow. You know what? Let's... Let's try something else. Pop this. Good, take the shot. So these, these are all shot out. I'm really expecting this guy to, to succumb. So we'll move to this. Ooh. Three, two, one. Ooh, I forgot about that guy. I mean, I knew it was range 3, I just didn't... I forgot that I needed to bleed off his action points. A little lucky there. Yes, hit him. Oh, come on. Six. 
try one more shot here. Three, two, one. Let's bait a shot. Oh, come on. Jeez, these guys are just... <laughs> oh, gosh. No rest for the weary. Okay. Here. And... Up. There we go. Okay. Well, we're running out of ATR men to take pot shots, so we're going to have to use... Well, we need to get somebody here, here, or here. Or both. Here and here. Yeah, this is a job for the Hagos. Can he see that hex? Yes, he can. So we'll make it easy for our troops to handle this. No. So you will... You will go here. Yeah, you'll go here, and goodbye. Okay. Short range, those engineers. Okay, so we still have some action points left with both of these hoggos. Finally making a little bit of headway. But over here it's still quite a mess and I really don't want to leave two inf guns, to inf guns together in the same hex. We've already taken quite a bit of risk with them. So... Let's hit them. Jeez. Mm, is there anything else we can do? Five. Six. Okay, so it's actually better if we just use some local units. Um, let's overstack the hex. Shoot. Yes! Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thought they were never going to break. Okay. All right. Now? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is going to be great. You go here. You go here. And we'll attack with one Hago platoon. Wait, do we need to do... Let's cancel that assault for now. Let's... Eliminate this guy. Bye. And... This is a very lethal unit, and we will give him much attention when this is all said and done. I think it might actually be safer to just use the Hago because of that mortar. I don't want to use troops and get anybody exposed in that position. Okay.
still under the major defeat, <laughs> but we're up to 108 points, so. You can see the uh, point losses here so far. Okay. Boy, what a mess. Uh, all right, next. <clears throat> we need to remove this infantry platoon here. Fatigued. Well, they were a little far out. Okay. Okay. Let's try to let's just try to blast them out, I think. Let's try this first. I'm being pretty liberal with these guys because they're not my own. Oh, that would have that would have been the one to do it. Hey, disruption. Can we get anyone in these three spaces? No, but it at this point, it doesn't matter. We need to remove that unit from his position. So, salt. Okay. Excellent. Wait. Oh, did we? Oh, we've separated. That's all right. So who belongs over there? This guy. And you're the headquarters section. Hmm. Disrupted, but full strength. Let's move you here. Okay. These ATR platoons are needed in the middle, I think, but we'll save them towards the end. Let's start working some of these other fighting positions now. Can we get this guy? Could we bonsai? Wow, we might be able to pull a bonsai the hoggos. Let's try it. Okay. I'm not sure which path to take is better. Is it best to go three open ground hexes? Oh, never mind. I'm, I don't think we've baited we need to bait this guy's shots first, so we'll need to send a bait unit into this. And that'll be you. Yep. Okay, he's done. Hmm. Little pause while I look up the rules on bonsai. I'll be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Yeah, so, um, the, I don't have to pay for the cost to enter the defender's hex. I just have to pay for the assault. So this should be double time in the open. The open hex is normally 30, but it's only we're only paying 75% of that cost. So 22. These guys shot, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. 44. 
Then here's the risk, 66. Salt, excellent. We move the hog out here. Goodbye. <sighs> feeling better, I'm feeling better. Okay. Uh, now to move everyone to relative safety. These guys are going to be a bit vulnerable. So what we want to do is find a safe place for them to recover from the bonsai. We can only choose one for him. So obviously... Mm, yeah, we'll go here and have the engineers assume defensive posture. Okay. And then these guys. Huh. What's a good spot? You know, actually, this spot doesn't look bad at all. It's on the road. Yeah, we'll move here. Really, we just did that so we could snag uh, another defensive position. Okay, uh, let's... I've, I've completely... Okay, he was... He was the bait shot. One, two, three. Yeah, you'll. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. What? Come on. Oh, you can't make it. That's funny. Okay, well, we'll move him later. Okay, uh, now we've got to start thinking about the future here. Uh, we've destroyed the def uh, this defensive line. Think, yeah, let's bring you back up. You can't move. And you... can probably start maneuvering around to get behind them, or... Uh, I think we'll just stay safe. Okay, so these are done. These are all done. Uh, let's, let's resolve this over here next. Uh, Try the machine gun. Uh oh. Ooh. Got him. Okay, you will assault. Bye. And you'll go here. And you'll go here. So again, we're going to cross this river and start making our way towards Vinalonan. Okay, uh, this engineer platoon. Here. Yeah, this should be safe here. So we'll go all the way up. <coughs> this guy? Hmm. We'll go he here. Yeah. Uh, 
that's right, these guys are were meant to spread out. The only one that can see him still is this guy. Boy, I really want to shoot him, but uh, I think it's safer if we move here. Just in case our, they called artillery on that village hex. He'll go here. Not there, so get him out of the way. Alright. The anti-tank rifle will tune. Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna stay close to the crest line here. Double time? Mm, no. You can, oh, never mind, you can't double time, but yeah, you'll get up here. move here. You'll move here. You'll move here. And here. And here. Okay, they'll stay put. What to do with you guys? This is the, uh, I don't, we're, we're just getting really tight up here, and I don't know what to do with these guys. Honestly, we need more anti-tank rifles over on this side, so. Whoops. Let's get them, let's get them, let's go get them exposed. <laughs> okay. And... I don't know, I don't, jeez, I don't know, let's see. Okay, let's take her. Oh, that's right, this guy got separated. This is, uh, yeah, this is uh, kind of a knock around platoon anyway, so let's push them out a little bit. Yeah, both. It's double time. I'll just double double time. Fix that problem. Okay, that's it. Okay. Uh we did the next units, uh op fires. Yeah, we should set him. We only want to shoot if they come adjacent. Should set him to medium. Okay. Okay, uh, and then no error, so just artillery and This is a much better looking situation than the last turn. I was kind of getting worried for a second. So we'll drop one there, one there. We'll drop two here. We'll drop one here. I, I just have a feeling they're gonna come forward. And one more. You know what? Let's just make sure that mortar gets some extra love. Okay, then we give the enemy its term and wrap up this video. 
These are going to be my anti-tank guns. Yeah. So we'll move to the safe hex this turn, but no further. Okay. Good luck for us. Good. No artillery. Oh, God. Jeez. Those ATRs are not doing well. And it looks like some units dodged my artillery barrage. Here we go. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, here we are. One-fourth the way finished. Uh, but we've knocked out. We've destroyed all the initial fortified positions, or forced them out, so we can find. Oh, jeez. Oh man, look at all of this stuff. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to start hitting the gas pedal because I only got 15 turns, and I'm <laughs> what like seven hexes off of the map edge. So, yeah. Huh. All right, pressure's on, uh, but thank you for watching this. All the best from the good captain, and bye-bye.